Recently, I made a video talking about parking and parking on the shoulder and what states are kind of doing to help truckers find or get more parking and whatnot. And I talked about how California actually allows parking on the shoulder. Well, I've been getting some comments about that and we're gonna talk about that in this video today. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good old California, California, the source of revenue is truck drivers apparently and I just want to say that I am sorry I kind of miscalculated, misdirected, misspoke about parking on the shoulder in California because apparently they're giving out tickets and this guy right here was the one that told me about him parking and and wide dirt lot which as you guys know California has a lot of and ended up getting uh, a ticket along with the three other trucks now when I made that video, I was thinking of my own experience. Like, yes, they do have laws about parking on the shoulder, but I have parked there many times. I used to go to California all the time and never once have I received a ticket for parking on the shoulder. And still to this day, like anytime I go to California, I see people parking on the shoulder, but it's mainly in areas like on I-10, I-40, you know, out in the middle of the desert. So again, like I stated in the last video, it's kind of hit or miss with California, but do you think that's right? I mean, think about it. California has this issue right now where basically they allow people in campers and cars and all that to be able to park on the street. They don't tell them, they don't do nothing, they don't ticket them, they just they just let them camp there. They let a lot of homeless people camp, you know, on the streets, shit on the streets and so on and so forth. But when you get a hardworking trucker, a hardworking truck driver that has to drive 55 miles an hour in that damn state, well, it's an issue when they just want to pull over to take their mandatory 10 hour break. Why is that? What is the problem with truck drivers and why are people having such an issue with us parking on a shoulder or somewhere? Um, they say that it could be a safety issue. They say that it could, it could uh, hurt their lots or it's a city ordinance. Can we fix the city ordinances maybe? like? It's a simple solution. What caused the simple or what caused the city ordinance for truck drivers not to be able to park in these cities, in certain areas? Maybe it's just an eyesore. Whoop de doo. This is what happens when we make laws like the ELD mandate that require us to stop based off what our computer says. And of course you get the shippers and the receivers who hold us up like I've been at this one since noon and it's already seven o'clock so kind of give you guys an idea you know I'm gonna be out of hours I got a PC to a parking spot and of course I'm in Maryland and well that's a whole nother level I'm near Baltimore and you guys get it parking ain't gonna be fun tonight for me so maybe we should look at the city ordinances maybe we should make some exceptions maybe there just needs to be more solutions for parking and maybe we should not just crack down on truckers the way that states like Indiana have been doing because of that wreck that happened or was that in Ohio or either or also um, places like West Virginia and Virginia I hear are just straight up giving tickets to drivers now which is cool good for you guys if anything to get revenue and try to beat up on the truck driver who's tired that's you guys are doing a great job on helping this industry and then of course you get California who will try to find every reason to go after truck drivers. Now I know I'm kind of going on a little bit of a ramp, but you guys see the issue. Do you see the problem with this industry and the parking? It's everybody's got to have their hands in our pockets. Why? There is solutions out there. And in fact, if I recall, I ended up seeing a video um, about this guy. He just talks about streets, and, but he talks about he does this documentary on parking lots and how and why parking lots have way more space than they need and this is what's ironic they have more space than they need for the cars that are there for the business um i don't know the full science of it i will put the link to that video and i think everybody should go watch it uh down below but it's funny like you ever go to a walmart and you know walmarts can be packed but they're never fully packed unless it's like a special event like black friday or if you look at malls, which are constantly getting shut down these days because of online shopping, and any shopping center, Costco, uh, Sam's Club, all have tons of parking that us drivers can fit in 
and maybe they can like designate a section of it but no because the city ordinances insurance and drivers themselves i'm not saying this is all everybody else's fault drivers themselves do cause this problem but there's just so many solutions and they just they don't want to work on it honestly what i really got to say to all this is shout out to those those states who who decide they want to ticket drivers because you guys are just doing so well to get the revenue from the working men instead of just coming up with solutions or instead of just letting us park to where we feel like it's safe to park like the big open dirt lot that's all over california all over there's always on the on ramp off ramps i feel like they have enough space that you can legit park there safely but you know that's just what they're about right right tickets so that's enough of my rant today and i want to thank you guys for watching if this is your first time here please hit that like hit that like button hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified for every time i upload a video also before i go for those people who say oh well pre-plan better pre-plan better you can get a parking spot i had a plan i had a plan that was gonna get loaded i got told it's gonna get loaded at a certain time it's been a few hours past that time now um and I guarantee that this TA that's in 4.6 miles is going to be full after 7 p.m. But I was going to go there at like 3, you know. Yeah, 